Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Jack here, and welcome to TG10, Top 10 Reasons to be Excited for Titanfall. Following the release of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Activision fired Infinity Ward co-founder Jason West and Vince Zampella in March of 2010 for, and I quote, breaches of contract and insubordination. Their departure resulted in a series of lawsuits and a big staff exodus. Later that year, West and Zimpella founded a game company called Respawn Entertainment, with many of the former Infinity War staff members. There's nothing more motivating than wanting to give your former boss the middle finger, and seeing how Respawn Entertainment is actually competing directly against Infinity War and Activision. In the multiplayer space, they are, I think, super motivated to make the best multiplayer game ever, and this is their first stepping out into the light for this new company, and I can't wait to see what they come up with. It's looking fantastic. Trailers of gameplay for Titanfall in action makes the Titans seem like they control closer to your average first-person shooter character than, say, a mech from Mech Warrior. They're quick, they're agile for their size, and these beasts look like loads of fun to drive. Not to mention, they don't work like, say, a care package in Call of Duty. You actually have them on a timer. Now, you can speed up that timer by getting kills and completing objectives, but everybody will get a chance to drive their mech. So the Titans come in three classes. You've got the Ogre class, which is a heavy version of the standard Atlas class. It boasts more armor, and you're gonna pay for it though with a slower movement speed. This class requires you to unlock it, but once it's unlocked, it can be a great asset for, say, a defensive player. Next up, we've got the Strider class. Now this plays a complete opposite role to the Ogre. The Strider boasts fast speed and more agility, but lacks the armor and the staying power. In field testing, the Strider outperforms all other Titans in speed, acceleration, and agility. But direct action missions is where the Strider excels. As the first to strike, Strider destroys Class A defenses with a 63% higher success rate. And it can secure rapid deployment objectives. From the gameplay videos, you can see the level design is different and built around the idea of parkour slash jetpack-like mobility mixed with areas open enough to make effective use of the Titans. Level design in a multiplayer game can make or break the longevity of your title. Just look at Battlefield 3 versus Battlefield 4. The level design is just so much better in Battlefield 4. And Titanfall looks like it mixes in a great sense of verticality in these awesome looking maps. With maps built with verticality in mind and giant mechs that want you dead scattered about the battlefield, as a single soldier on the ground, mobility and size are your only true strengths. Mobility in Titanfall was the first jaw-dropping thing we noticed at E3. Players actually gain momentum, allowing them to jump off buildings, running off walls, diving over cover, and latching onto 10 tons of mech while blasting off its backplate and chewing up its insides with a burst of gunfire. It looks like devilish fun, I can't wait to jump in. This game is downright sexy. It's next gen, no doubt about it, with an amazing attention to detail. From the shell casings to the burned out apartments to the cockpit of your Titan, you can tell the team really wants to make this competitive team-based action game just as immersive as any single player title. So it's not just the graphics that sell the world. Everything from how you get into your mech to how your teammates squawk across the radio with objectives. Even loading into the game has been tied to the world, showing you and your squad in a dropship just before the match begins, getting briefed on the day's objective. It's an interesting setup more multiplayer games can learn from. Sixty-four players, 
That's right, two teams of 32 on the Xbox One and the PC. Now, the PC is my gaming rig of choice, but I'm really excited for the next-gen console players. You guys finally get to really dig into the large-scale maps and massive battlefields that 64 players combat offers. It's a level of chaos that you just have to experience to really enjoy, and I'm excited that the tech is finally here to offer this experience to console players. Mix in mech combat and free-running momentum-based movement, and you've got nothing but win. In field testing, the Strider outperforms all other Titans in speed, acceleration, and agility. Thank you, Respawn Entertainment, for watching out for your PC fans. Day one console and PC release. No GTA 5, no Assassin's Creed bullshit here. We get it on day one, as it should be. Waiting on a PC release by months just so you can suck out a few more sold copies to those poor saps that just can't wait for the PC release and own both systems? You've earned some major points from the PC gaming community for not pulling this kind of bullshit. Well done, guys. Well done. And inflicting over 50% more damage to enemy units. At Hammond Robotics, we're bringing the future home. This guy had a drink. I'm through with the frontier. You hear me, Mikhail? I'm through. Damn, this guy smells. You know him or something? Yeah, Barker was my wingman in the tight wars. I'm gonna kick all your asses. Hey, he may not look like much, but trust me, we're gonna need him. <laughs> He's a hell of a pilot. Okay, let's move. Fish, I'm picking up a massive. Multiplayer with a plot? That's right, Titanfall isn't wasting time with a single-player campaign. They're not splitting the resources into what really adds up to two different games. It's all about the multiplayer, where most people would spend their time anyways. But who said multiplayer couldn't feel like it's had the attention to story and detail of a single-player game? From the moment you join a match to the last kill in the game, it's dripping with game chatter, objectives that make sense and have a background to why you're fighting these guys with mechs. Why are these two armies fighting? Titanfall will spell it out for you while you fight. It's a great idea that I'd love to see taken to other games like Battlefield or Call of Duty. Why are these two teams fighting? Give us a little background, give us a little radio chatter, have objectives change, and tell us why they're important to the game world. Titanfall has shown in a lot of trailers characters popping up in the corner of the screen, giving you briefings, telling you why it's important, telling you how hard the fight's gonna be things like that that really kind of draw you into the match, more so than just your teammates chattering about, ah, there's a guy over there, go kill him. It looks really cool. All of Titanfall really looks badass, and I'm so glad, so glad it's coming out on PC. All right, so multiplayer with a plot. I don't know how deep they're gonna go with the plot. I'm hoping it's literally an entire story that plays out for you, that kind of gives you hints at what's going on with the world. Why are these Titans running around? Why are people killing the crap out of each other? What are the objectives for? It'll be interesting to find out. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up this TG10. If you enjoyed this one, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe here. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.